The Pepperdine campus sits on a hill with gorgeous views of the Pacific Ocean, but it wasn't all perfect for Waves guard Lauren Jackson. After undergoing multiple knee surgeries, it's taken hard work and determination for the fifth-year guard to succeed on the court. But Jackson isn't ready for his basketball career to end just yet. It was hard. I did my first one a little bit after my freshman year, and I got surgery after my freshman year, and then I did this most recent one last summer in just an open gym, just playing with my teammates, pulling around, and I slipped on the wet spot. When he first hurt his knee and the doctors called, and I called him, actually, I called him twice, or he called me twice. He called me the first time to tell me how bad it was, and then a little bit later, he called about 20 minutes later, and he cried both times. That was, like, more devastating than the first one because it was my senior year, or going into my senior year, and just to have it happen all over again, it just put me down a lot, and it was just something tough to deal with, and having to sit out my senior year was very hard. The sad thing is he's, he's had the two major surgeries. The positive thing from learning it is he didn't stay down very long. They go to Jackson, dribbles in the lane, eight foot Jeffrey Shore. Doing great. I haven't had any problems in the past year whatsoever from it, and it's been, it's been fully healthy and ready to go. He won a game at both ends for us against Washington State. He was out of position. It wasn't his coverage, but he recognized, hey, we needed help. He comes over. He blocks his shot. The basket is shot knocked down by Jackson. Well, he goes down to the other end. He makes a play where he goes in. He scores the winning layup. Jackson dribbles down the lane and he laid up and in. I think those things from last year helped him. I came to Pepperdine. I'm about 45 minutes away in Simi Valley, so. All my family is in L.A. for the most part, so I just want to stay close to home and so all my family come to the games. Well, you know, it's, it's a unique situation because Lauren went to Simi Valley High School. I went to Simi Valley High School uh, many moons ago. His high school coach was my old teammate. So he was real close to my high school coach, played on his team, and so when he came back to uh, Pepperdine, he recruited me again. I want to be around good people, our staff, our school. I mean, we want good people here. We want high-character guys here. And that's important. Lauren's a high character guy that we wanted to be a part of our program. The hardest time out of anybody in the history of probably being a fifth year. They're just on me every day, just do this, do that, don't do this, don't do that. And I just hear it probably more than anybody else on the team, but I mean, I accept it. That's not a young player there, that's a fifth year senior. We can preach, we can use him as, as an example. Hey, Lauren Jackson, fifth year senior, he's gonna graduate, he's gonna be successful. I don't have to worry about him. We don't have to worry about him very much off the floor with his character and, and nightlife and, and, and any of those things. And our guys see those things. Overall, I would say he's a great teammate, and you know, it's a pleasure for me to come in and play with him, seeing as he's a fifth year senior. You know, he could have been gone, and you know, it could have been a lot different, but I feel like it's a great pleasure for me to come in and play with him. Coaches are on me about trying to talk more to my teammates, I'm trying to uh, coach more and be more of a leader, but uh, it's getting better. and. I've been working on that to talk to my teammates and help them out. Him being a quiet guy, but being a role model where guys can look at him and understand, hey, he's not out causing trouble. Okay? He's taking care of business in the classroom. You know, he tries to kind of just uh, lead through his game and lead by example. He's not really the type of guy to, uh, you know, like rally the troops and, you know, bring us together. There's kind of other people on our team that can do that. Or he kind of leads us through just by example in, in the game. And I finally figured out, hey, stop asking him to be vocal and just let him do what he does to help lead our team. Favorite part about the campus. Five minutes away from the beach, if that. <laughs> I haven't surfed yet, and I've been here five years. Before I graduate, I'm done to surf. But I'm going to have to wait till after season now, but that's definitely on my bucket list. Overall, I've been getting better. The team's been great. We've been getting better. And it's just, it's held. I'm around a good group of guys, and we're just messing really well this season. <laughs> Teams just know when they play us that, you know, we're not the pepper on of old. And we're not just going to lay down and just uh, get smacked by whoever, and we're going to come and play. We're going to be physical. We're going to lock down the defensive end. What a play by Lauren Jackson. Well, I'm going to uh, continue to play. I'm going to try to enter the draft and then see what goes on with that, and then see the NBA or trying to go overseas. But I'm not done playing yet, so until my legs fall off. Great stuff. Let's take a look at the WCC Game of the Week schedule this week. It's San Francisco and Pepperdine. Next week, it's the Waves again, this time at Portland. Coach, your impressions of the fifth-year guard 
Lauren Jackson. Well, certainly impressive when we talk about all the guards in this conference. They're not only good players, but they're great people. And when you look at him, what a role model of a student athlete at such a prestigious institution. Fifth year, going to graduate. He's really more a two that has to play the one, but regardless of his position, he certainly is a leader on and off the court. There's not a coach in the country that would not covet a player like Jackson. Concur. Do it. That's it for me and the coach. WCC Game of the Week is the San Francisco Dons versus the Pepperdine Waves. We'll get you back to the Firestone Fieldhouse. Enjoy the game.